take one of the most prolific game fish in the state, add in a bit of good old-fashioned competition, and hint at the promise of tasty food. Then you have the makings of a great day in Idaho's outdoors. Welcome to the South Fork Whitefish Derby. Well, we've always enjoyed being outdoors and uh, having an event like this where you can uh, go outdoors and take the whole family out. It's, uh, it's a real nice thing. The Whitefish Derby is just a handy excuse to do what Art and Sarah Jensen love to do anyway. Take the kids Jason, Ember, and Austin and go fishing. Several years ago, they were stationed here while Art was in the military. At the time, they promised themselves that someday they would return to the Idaho Falls area to live. The dream came true, and nowadays you're likely to find them right here along the shoreline of the south fork of the Snake River, fishing rods in hand. Hasn't been anything rising on the river, and uh, haven't been taking any of the nymphs I've been putting out. Been uh, using little peacocks, after, uh, soft tackle and little uh, beadhead uh, nymphs and uh, haven't had any luck yet, but like I said, yet. We'll see how it goes today. <laughs> a few yards upriver, father and son team Doug and Greg Seipert are running into the same thing. It's pretty tough to win a derby prize if you don't catch a fish, but they aren't about to give up yet. Okay, what we're gonna do is put the weight below the nymph and fish the nymph up a little ways in the water. So we'll put the weight down here, have the nymph up here on a dropper. 12-year-old Greg is just beginning to learn the intricacies of casting with a fly rod. It's a challenge to master the skill, and today's gusting wind doesn't make it any easier. You have to use both hands to cast with, remember. The idea behind the Whitefish Derby is to introduce people to a great resource that is often neglected. Many of the state's streams are closed to trout fishing in the spring, but that doesn't mean you should shelve your spinning gear or fly rod. Whitefish have their own general season. They may not be as glamorous as a rainbow trout, but this close cousin can put up quite a fight. Are we going to take it? Yeah, we'll take it into the derby. Got to cook it up for somebody. These are about 14 inches. There's nothing like success to inspire fellow anglers. Six-year-old Ember decides to see if any of her dad's luck has rubbed off on her. Okay. I can't really throw that far, though. Well, if you teach your kids early how to fish and how to take care of the environment, then they'll be uh, doing it all their life, and uh, they'll teach their kids, and they'll be you know, good stewards of the land and help take care of the environment. Uh, Teach them not to uh, not to waste fish. If just take what they need, and uh, most of the time we just fish for catch and release, just fish for the fun of it. Baby brother Austin looks on placidly as Ember scampers off to collect trash. Along with prizes for the largest fish is a prize for the angler who brings in the biggest load of litter. Yeah. A pair of anglers in a drift boat show off their catch of the day a big, beautiful cutthroat trout, and then float lazily on down the river in pursuit of more. Four-year-old Chandler Smith has no interest in capturing the prize for the largest whitefish. He and his special Mickey Mouse pull are after something else. The most thing I want to catch is a rainbow fish. No whitefish? No a rainbow fish. And how does one go about that? Tell me how, well, how you catch a fish. What? How do you catch a fish? Um, you need worms and a fishing pole and string and things that make the no, and the, the little things right here that makes it sink go under deep. This is exactly what the organizer of the derby, fishing game biologist Mark Gamblin, wants to see. A little guy like Chandler Smith learning all about the great fun that can be had in Idaho's outdoors. Another thing that we try to do with these types of, of promotional activities is to get kids brought into the fishing tradition. And, uh, show kids that there's some real good positive um, pursuits that they can get involved in that uh, 
I think contribute to society and make for a better community and hopefully we'll foster an appreciation for our wildlife heritage and our natural resources. And Mark's day began early, setting up the Ryrie Senior Citizen Center for the feast to come. But the anglers didn't disappoint him. A little after noon, fish began arriving by the bucket full to be measured and weighed. Yeah, that, this one puts them at a pound and a quarter. Inside, Mark is busy filleting fish, surrounded by an intent audience of wide-eyed little anglers. Fourteen different whitefish recipes are featured from smoked to boiled, and the general consensus seems to be that this often maligned fish actually tastes pretty good. It's real good. It's uh, white fish in a beer batter. Just like most things, it really does depend on how you prepare white fish and using the right recipes and the right techniques. Um, I think, as you've seen today, there are some people that are really quite surprised at how well they can taste.